家好，我是苏西。我是今天我们带大家去故事城堡，故事城堡里有许多好听的故事，而且还有好多好玩的玩具。让我们一起出发吧。Today I am going to read those books for you. Now let's get started. The Stone Riddle, the Riddle Stone, Part One. Dad had pulled up some floorboards. Hello, he said. What's this? Under the floor was a stone. It had strange. It had some strange writing on it. Dad was going to throw the stone away, but Chip wanted to keep it. Look at this, he said to Bill. Do you think the writing is Chinese? I don't know," said Biff. Chip took a stone, took the stone to into the school. He showed it to a boy called Han. It it is written in Chinese," said Han. "I can I can't read it, but my grandfather can." Can. Hans' grandfather always come after school. Hans' grandfather always come and came after school to take Han home. Chip showed he, him the stone. Yes, it is, it is Chinese," said Hans' grandfather. It says, "Do you, you mind?" What a strange, strange question. Said Biff, maybe it's a riddle. Said Hans, grandfather. See, the stone is broken. Maybe the answer is on the other half. Chip gave Hans the stone to keep. He put it in his bag. May Hans come round to play with us? Asked Biff. All right, said Hans, grandfather. Father. They want to.、Uh, they want to play in Biff's room. What? What is a riddle? Asked Chip. It's a puzzle in words. Said Han. Here's a good riddle. Said Han. How do you spell hungry horse using only four letters? I don't know. Said Biff. It is. It. This is easy," laughed Han. "It's easy," laughed Han. M T G G. Here's another riddle. What's this? The more gets dry, the more, the more it gets dry, the more it gets wet. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic took them to a rocky valley. Four paths met. Four paths met. There was a signpost pointing four ways. Each way pointed to the Riddle Mountain. A boy was sitting on a rock. My name is Ty, he said. I want to go to the Riddle Mountain, but I don't know which path to take. I can't think that of the answer to this riddle. The red. The riddle was on a top post. It said, "It's only, it is only one color, but it can grow. Stick to your feet wherever you go. Nodding there in the sun, not in the rain. Never does harm. Never feels pain. Pain. The answer is a shadow," said Han. Look at the shadow of the post. It points up that path. That must be the way. Are you sure? Said Biff. Yes. It's a riddle. Said Ty. Let's go. It's hard to get the Riddle Mountain. Said Han. Said Ty. It will be dangerous. I may never get there. Then why you have to? Then why do you have to go? Asked Bill. I want to be the riddle maker," said Ty. "I have to get to the riddle mountain. I, I have to answer all the riddles on the way. The last riddle is the hardest. No one ever found the answer. 
suddenly a huge gi and giant stood in the way. I hope it's friendly, said Chip. Yes, answered a shadow, and you can pass by, roared the giant. Roll down how, roll right down how much I want, he said. He must be, he must, but he must watch her tongue, said Bill. No, it's a riddle, said Han. I can do it, he wrote down the answer. Good, good luck in the land of riddles, said the giant. What do you write down? asked Chip. I wrote the words how much I want, said Han. Pong. Well, not so far to the top. It was it was not far to the top of the hill. Suddenly a dragon stood in the way. I hope it's friendly, said Han. Han, look, said this, there are bubbles coming out his mouth. The dragon spoke. Over there is the riddle mountain. It said you have a long way to go. Help, said Jai. The journey, the journey looks dangerous. Below it was a black lake. Across the lake, the land was dry and rocky. And rocky. And rocky. Beyond, there was a, a deep river and dark forest. Far away was a tall gray mountain. Huge bubbles came out in the dragon's jaws. Answer this riddle. It said, how many sides does a bubble have? Have. That's easy, said Han. It has two. The inside and the outside. He said, good, said the dragon. Now step inside this bubble. Han stepped away into the Step into the bubble, it began to float away. Step into a bubble, yelled Han. Han, yelled Han. They all stepped inside the bubble, set, float up and up. Oh, this is scary, said Biff. What if the bubbles pop? They float on and on. At last, they began to float down the, to the black lake. I hope the bubbles don't pop here, yelled Chip. I hope the bubbles don't pop here, yelled Chip. Then the bubbles popped and hmm, the children fell into the lake. Suddenly a huge serpent rose out of the water. I don't like this adventure, said Biff. What is, what is this? said the serpent. Serpent, serpent, the more get, it is dry, the more it gets, the more it gets dry, it dries, the more it gets wet. It's easy, said Han. It's a towel. Good, said the serpent. Now climb on my back. The serpent swam across the lake. Across the lake. How do you know? The answer to all this riddle, all these riddles, Han asked Ty. I don't know, said Han. They just come to me. Goblins were waiting for the children. They pulled and pinched them. Ouch! 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 That hurts, said Chip. Ha! You won't answer the next riddle, said one of the goblins. The goblins put the children in a cage. One of the goblins stole, mm, stole the magic key. Oh no, said Biff. We, now we can get back from this adventure. The goblin king spoke to them. Answer this, he said. How do you want to die? We don't want to die, said Chip. Chip. Han began to laugh. It's not funny. Said, said Biff, we don't want to die. It's it's real, said Han. Don't worry, I know the answer. 
Now read part two. Have you read part one? The goblins and the goblin. The goblin king look at the children. His small eyes glinted, and and he snapped his long, thin fingers. One long, thin fingers. How do you want to die? He asked. We want to die of old age. Old age said Hong. Garu, that's the right answer, said the Goblin King. So I must let you go. He opened the door of the cage. Of the cage, brilliant, said Chia. But how do you know the right answer? I don't know, said Hong. I just did. Let's find the next riddle. The time. The Goblin still had a magic key. Key. The beast. We must get it back. Give us, give us back our keys," said Chip. "Now," said the goblin. "We won't. We won't. Give it, give it back!" shouted Chip. "Make us!" called the goblin. "Make us!" called the goblins. Han had an idea. He spoke to the goblin king. We will,、uh, we we will ask you a riddle, Hanson. You must give us back the key if you can't answer it. All right," said the Goblin King. "What is the riddle?" Han wrote in the sand. One plus one equals six. Make this work by drawing a straight line," he said. The Goblins scratched their heads. Heads. At last, they said, "We can't do it. Can't do it." Han put a line on the plus one and four. One and one and four add up to six. Said Han. Very clever. Very clever. Said the Goblin King, and he gave the key to Biff. The children went on. At last, they came to a flat desert. There were strange shapes in the sky. Suddenly, the shapes flew down and whizzed over the children's heads. Heads. Ouch! That one hit me. Try, try. The flying shapes were kites. Were kites. The kites dying at the children. What is the What is the answer to this riddle? Shouted the kite flyer. I can be cracked. I can be played. I can be told. I can be made. What I am. I know this one," said Han. "The answer is a joke." The kite flyer let them pass, pass, pass. But next, they came to a wide, wide river. Can never cross this," said Ship. "It's too deep and dangerous." Then they saw an old man on a raft. I will take you across," said the old man. "But first, answer this riddle. I have seven children. Half of them are boys. How can this be?" "I know the answer," said Han. "All your children are boys. Boys. That's right," said said the. Said the old man, "I will take you across the river. How do you know the answer to all the riddles?" Tai asked Han. "I don't know," said Han. "They just come. The answers just come to me." The children came to a dark, gloomy, gloomy forest. The trees were bent and twisted, twisted. What a scary place," said Biff. "I can't, I can't see the eyes is looking at us." Suddenly, the wolves sprang out the trees. They had red eyes and long, sharp, white teeth. They were after us! Yelled Chip. Run! As, as the children ran faster, but the wolves were faster. Faster! Quick! Yelled Chip. Climb a tree. Quick, young, young Biff! 
climb a tree. Tree, the children climbed quickly, but Han was a bit slow. The wolf ran up him. The wolf snapped at Han. It sank its teeth into his back and pulled off his back. His back. Help, young Han. Then a strange woman came to her. Came, came out of the tree, of the trees. The wolf ran up to her. The wolf woman told the wolf to sit. She told the children to climb down. The ch the children to climb down. The wolf and the woman picked up Hans' bag, but she gave it to Tai. Answer this riddle, she said. He lives half its life. He dies half its life. He dances to no music. He drinks with no mouth. This time, Tino knew the answer. That's easy, he said. It's tree good, said the wood woman. The next riddle, the next riddle is at the riddle mountain. No one has ever got it right. Right. The wolves were not. The children were not. Then Biff said, Han has known all the answers until all the riddles, but not the last one. Why? I don't know, said Han. It's strange, said Biff. By now, they were at the, at the riddle mountain. At the top was a cave. The last riddle will be up there. The tide, come on. They climbed to the cave. What a climb, said Chip. I am tired. I'm tired. Let's have a rest, said Ty. The children sat down. Ty took off Hans' bag. Suddenly, the ground began to shake. A stone a statue rose up out of the earth. The statue opened its hand and spoke. Who answers this riddle? But the will be the riddle makers, it said. This is the riddle, said the statue. If the answer I give is yes, but what I mean is no, what is the question? Everyone looked at, looked at her. I don't know the answer, said her. Never, I, nah, never do I, do I, said Ty, sadly. We failed, said Biff. Wait, said Chip, I have an idea. What's that stone with Chinese writing, he said. It's in my bag, said Han. And Ty knew the old woman's riddle and he had the has Han's bag, said Biff. Maybe whoever has the stone can answer riddles, said Chip. Ty took the stone out of the bag. I know the answer to this question, he said. It's, it is, do you mind? Ty put the stone in the statue's hand. Hand, it's the right answer, said the statue. You are the new riddle maker. Just then, the magic key began to glow. The adventures over. So we knew all the, ans the answers all alone, said Chip. It was all stone. Well, I didn't want to be the riddle maker, said Han. Did you? No, said Biff. And I never want to hear another riddle. Okay, we finished all the books. I'll see you next time. Bye. 好了，小朋友，今天的故事就讲到这里了。大家要是有好听的故事或者是好玩的玩具，记得写信给 Susie 和 Lucy 哦，我们会在第一时间分享给每一个小朋友的。大家如果喜欢我们的节目，记得点击下方的订阅哦。Susie 和 Lucy 在这里等你们，再见啦！